Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today it's uh, Sunday and we've got some livestock to check today and some of the ones here on the farm we've got to feed them. So we'll go and get some bales. Every, every few weeks 
with a, an electric pump, but the pump can only do so much and you can't stop Mother Nature as well. So. Yeah, these are all looking well. Once I'm happy, we'll clear off out of here and move on to the next field and check the candle. They didn't look too bad. They've just been shorn as well. So they're not, they're not bad. Sometimes you get them on their backs, but that's more when they've got lots of wool. At the moment, they've been shorn, so they should be fine. We'll be weeding the land before long as well for the abattoir, come June, July time. So they'll be fi they're finished on grass, which is quite nice. So got a lovely flavour to the meat, you know, roast lamb. They taste absolutely wonderful. And uh, we'll be keeping a couple for ourselves this year as well, for our family. Now these stores, I'm going to move them across to another field today and then tomorrow they're going to be moved to uh, back across to another pasture where they go once a week, so leave these across. I won't need the dogs for these. You've got some big steers in here and if this big steer kicked one of those lovely sheep dogs of ours, I'd, you know, regret it. So I try really with the sheep dogs to just use them for the sheep. But sometimes they work with the cattle but they only work with small calves and things like that, you know. Not a bad job to do on a Sunday. Some people spend the Sundays watching TV or Netflix or working on their car or whatever. We normally spend it moving cattle or checking sheep. That's what it is. Go on. Get up there, you up. Go on. and calves you can see pips over there she's so keen cows and calves are the other side so she can't reach them and uh, just in between where we are and the cows there's a, a gully like a dike and it's going quite low but luckily they've got some water the other side there's like a, a, um, a lagoon the other side but that will run out at some point probably in June or July so uh, I've got that metal I think it's 5,000 litre tanker at home we'll go and fill that up with water and we'll bring it down here next week there's a couple of uh, like water troughs as well I bring down with the Manitou and then that gives them fresh water as well when, uh, when the weather gets drier. And I mean now, from now until August, it'll be really dry down here. So really need to get that water tanker down here by next week if I can. So. Stopped off on the way home to check one of the silage fields. This is looking good now. Couple of thistles. By the gateway, other than that, pretty clean. But yeah, we'll cut this maybe this week or next week. <laughs> Lie down, Pip! But yeah, it's not looking bad now. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Well, we're just cooling these calves up as I got home. We put that silage bell up there this morning. They've been out grazing all day and uh, they'll come and eat their food in the yard in a minute. Well, it looks like it's gonna rain tonight, but the uh, forecast says otherwise, it's gonna be dry all week. It, you know, we're Sunday now, hopefully this upcoming week, we can uh, get that silage cut, ted it, bale it, get it in the yard and start making some silage for 2023, which will be for winter later on this year. I hope you're enjoying your weekend, whatever you're up to, wherever you are in whichever part of the world. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the week ahead. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna feed the dogs now, so. Thanks for watching, catch you on the next one. Click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.